Dear students, now we are going to discuss time delay calculation for 8051 and solve the problems. For 8051 microcontroller, the operating frequency is 1 twelfth of the crystal oscillator frequency. Here the crystal oscillator frequency is approximately 11.0592 MHz. From this we can find out the machine cycle period. Its formula is 1 divided by operating frequency that is equal to 12 divided by 11.0592 into 10 to the power of 6. Here it is megahertz. Mega means 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So from this we can get the value of one machine cycle period is equal to 1.085 microseconds. Do you all understand? So this is very very important value. One machine cycle period of this 8051 microcontroller is 1.085 microsecond. Before going to solve the problems, we should know how many machine cycles are required to complete one instruction. So here, move instruction requires one machine cycle for its execution. No operation, that means one machine cycle. Jump to call to CJNE that means compare and jump if not equal that instruction requires two machine cycles to complete its operation okay. So next TJNE requires two machine cycles return operation is also requiring two machine cycles push pop this two are requiring two machine cycles here you have to remember this two okay so for this multiplication as well as division we need four machine cycles. Let's solve the problems in this time delay calculation. The first one is calculate the time delay for the given subroutine. The subroutine program is delay move R2 comma hash 10 H loop DJ N Z R2 comma loop no operation no operation no operation and then return. Okay this is the given subroutine program. We are going to calculate the total time delay produced by the subroutine okay so for that we have to take that machine cycles required to complete each instruction first so here for this move instruction it requires one machine cycle for this tj nz it requires two machine cycles no operation here it is one one machine cycle one machine cycle for this return we need two machine cycles okay so after getting the number of machine cycles for each instructions we are going to calculate the time delay that is equal to sum of all the machine cycles multiplied with the machine cycle period okay so here we can take the first machine cycle is 1 plus 2 into 10 so why do we multiply this 2 into 10 means here that immediate data is available Immediate data is given means we have to multiply the data with that next instruction machine cycle. Okay, you have to remember this. Immediate data is given in this instruction. So, that data is multiplied with that next instruction machine cycle. Okay, so 2 into 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. The whole multiplied with 1.085. So, we can get the value as 26 into 1.0085 microsecond is equal to 28.21 microseconds. So the total time delay from this subroutine program is 28.21 microseconds. Okay. So next one is calculate the time delay. Actually here we are going to find out the total execution time period. Okay. So the same way we are going to obtain the total execution time period for this move instruction it requires one machine cycle for this move it requires one machine cycle for this division it requires four machine cycle okay so we have to add all these values and multiply that with the machine cycle period 1.085 microseconds finally we can get 6.51 microseconds so this is the total execution time period for this program.